Welcome back. This video deals with how your grade is calculated. Your semester grade will be a weighted average of your first quarter grade, your second quarter grade, and your North Carolina final exam score. The two quarterly grades will be 75%, 37.5% each, and your final exam score will be 25%, and those percentages are set uh, by the Craven County School Board. Quarterly grades and NCFE scores utilize a 10-point grading scale. 90 to 100% is an A, 80 to 89% is a B, 70 to 79% is a C, and 60 to 69% is a D. So throughout this video and in the syllabus, you'll see me take the overall points and kind of break it down into the numbers and points that correspond to each grade just to make things a little simpler. Your quarterly grades are calculated as a percentage of a total of 700 points, and those can be earned in the following ways. Your Khan Academy skill mastery and your bonus points, I expect you to earn 300 points per quarter. That's about 75 points every two weeks. Classroom participation, homework, effort, and self-reflection is 100 points per quarter. That's 25 points every two weeks. You'll have in-class test grades, 300 points per quarter. That's 100 po points for each of three tests in each quarter. And then there will be optional extra credit assignments, and those are usually worth one to five points each. The next video in this series will describe in much more detail the process for earning skill mastery points in Khan Academy. I'll tally up the points and post them to Kansas and PowerSchool every two weeks. And again, the assumed rate is 75 points every two weeks. That's mastery of about 15 new skills. So just to connect things, a total of 630 to 700 points per quarter earns an A. 560 to 629 is a B. 490 to 559 earns a C. 480 to 559 points will earn a D. Since grades are based on points, regardless of source, all students who are willing to put in the time and effort to master enough skills can earn the full 700 points, regardless of their test scores. They just have to do a little extra work. Of course, mastering the Math 2 skills is the primary goal of this course, and students who do so are likely to earn better test scores and will need to spend less time leveling up extra skills to earn a given grade. As to the other two major areas for points, skill, practice, and effort from the syllabus, you'll earn two points per hour of skill, practice, and video review on Khan Academy. This amounts to a little over of five hours of study and practice per week. Additional effort beyond the minimum of five hours a week can be thought of as extra credit, and you can earn up to 20 effort points per week, 40 for every two-week grading period, just by putting in the necessary time. Effort points can even be dur earned during break weeks, like fall break or in the spring, spring break. Students must submit a self-reflection of their effort in Canvas every two weeks in order to earn the points for the time spent. The requirement that you submit a self-reflection on the effectiveness of your efforts every two weeks is a key link to one of the primary goals of this course. That is you taking charge of your own learning. Extra credit. Completion of missions and badges within Khan Academy will earn additional points, as outlined in the syllabus, as will mastery of additional skills that aren't assigned in class. Students can also earn an extra credit point per day for investing the time to practice math facts in the extramath.org math facts practice uh, curriculum. Please see me if you need a login information for that. There may be additional extra credit opportunities throughout the semester beyond these as well. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video where we'll go over the skill mastery process that lies at the heart of this course in much more detail.